name is Michelle Odom, and I am one of the co-hosts, along with Randy Henderson. This session runs from August 19th until October 14th, 2014, and we are reading Alice Walker's book, We Are the Ones We've Been Waiting For, Inner Light in a Time of Darkness, Meditation. Our book group meets each Tuesday evening from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Google Plus Hangouts on Air platform. You can find the National Black Feminist Book Group on Google, YouTube, and Facebook. Please feel free to join us in reading our story together. My name is Georgette Moses. I'm watching uh, from, well, I'm not watching, I'm participating here from Columbia, South Carolina. Um, and I'll be okay. moderating tonight, and I'm enjoying this experience as usual. Great. Uh, Labib? I am Labib. I'm uh, uh, tuning in from uh, New York, Long Island. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm finally back, and I'm happy to be back to participate in tonight's discussion. Okay. Benita? Uh, my name is Nina Walker. Um, I've been a member of the book group uh, since session one, which is very, which is very stimulating. And I look forward to uh, session two. I'm actually chiming in from Connecticut, in case anybody's interested. Okay, and last but not least, Michelle. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am Michelle Odom, and I am uh, joining you from New York. I'm in Manhattan today uh, in the Big Apple. All right. Tonight we'll be discussing <laughs> Chapter 2, Childhood and Chapter 3, When Life Descends into the Pit of our uh, book, We Are the Ones We Have Been Waiting For, Inner Light in a Time of Darkness, Meditations, by Alice Walker. Okay, I believe we're, we're on number four now. All right. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll just go ahead and read it. Although Miss Walker gives us a sobering disclaimer, that there may be nothing any of us can do about all this, we have to try. Her attempts and inspirations included sending her daughter to a non-traditional school that emphasized sharing, non-competitive behavior, and gender equality. Emulating the earth-friendly practices of indigenous peoples, such as shunning all forms of exploitation and monetary gain, is a good start. Like the Mundo tribe of her novel, we should treasure our relatedness to the earth, our own rituals, ceremonies, and ways that preserve the planet and do no harm. Each of us has this inherent knowledge of how to live life differently. We must find it within ourselves and then put it to use. Mm -hmm. And then the question is, what is your inborn knowledge of how to live life differently and have you thought about what it would take to change? Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, I was just, just saying to Vanita that what I have really wanted uh, career-wise is to be a part of, um, well, I think I said kick-ass, um, but, you know, a really strong group of, of black people who could um, compete effectively um, in, in this very competitive world that we have, uh, but who could work together in a way um, that did not allow our egos or our insecurities um, or whatever issues it is we're having to um, to crush the spirits and creativity and productivity of other members of the team. Um, you know, as Vanita was saying last night or today, you know, none of us knows everything. 
and we really we really have to understand that and understand that while we don't know everything we do have the capacity to bring to come together as teams but then we have to value the individual basis of knowledge and skills that people have but I, I tell you I've had a very very difficult time um, over the last decade in particular finding that kind of work environment um, and, it, and it it hurts me it's sad to say I'm, I'm really talking about black people I have had that kind of work environment with white people um, but I understand that you know as black people we got a lot of issues mm. And I am probably more patient and understanding about that than the average bear. But even still, um, you know, I, I can't work in an environment um, where I feel like my spirit is being crushed. And, um, and, I, and so I think that that kind of knowledge of how to work with people in a non-competitive way. You know, like I, I think even, I said to Vanita, I think one thing I love about our book group is somehow we have attracted a group of people who are not afraid sharing their wisdom and insight, but also know how to listen and let other people have space in the group. That's pretty special. Yes. You know, because I'm not seeing that out there on a regular basis in the world. And so I said to her, I think, you know, what the universe is trying to tell me is I have to create that team that I have been looking for because I don't see it anywhere else. Hmm. And, you know, and I think that that is, is just a part of my inborn consciousness. I've always been very concerned um, about leadership issues in the black community. In fact, I may set up another book group just to focus on that topic um, because there's, there's a lot, there's a lot there, so. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, Michelle, you brought up a very sticky subject there, how mm. black people work together and the lack thereof. Mm. Yeah. 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 That takes a whole nother session or two or three or four. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get mm -hmm. But that's a good, that's a, that's, that, G, um, you sometimes I feel like I'm from another planet because I can't find, it's very seldom I ever find, which I found a couple of times in my entire life, a person that, that, <laughs> Sees the world as I see it, where I don't know everything. Okay, I'm okay and you're okay. I can't grow unless I we share information. I need to know what G knows. I need to know what Randy knows. You understand? And right. I, I, it's such a self-righteous world. You know. Yeah. Let's bring us back to that cry. My table is shinier than yours. Okay, right. never asked me one time, you know, or never suggested to that person's table is not shiny, how they can make it shine like yours. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it, 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 we, you know, it, it, we do have a special group of people, and I, and I really enjoy it immensely because we do respect each other. We do know that we don't know everything. And as soon as you recognize that, you can open yourself up to a whole new world. Mm -hmm. I only know this much and compared to everything as I told Michelle I use an analogy today if you take what you know and hold it up with your two fingers and you drop it it's so little that it dissipates before you can hit the ground that's how little each individual person knows mm -hmm. you know you can't even measure how little you actually know mm -hmm. so and I find with our people I don't know what happened um, and you would think that we were respectful. We're needy. We're needy. You know, we've been hurt. Yeah, but you and know, we're needy. Yeah, but you know, Michelle, I, I, I'm not good with needy people. I'm going to be honest with you, Randy and G. You know, <laughs> I, I'm not good with all I'm, you know, 
really. You got a situation, you know, state your situation. Let's let's try and find a way to resolve the issue. If we can resolve, let's keep it moving. But I can't do the new thing. I can't do the feel sorry for the thing, the self righteous thing, the Jesus complex thing, and all that stuff. And the twinkle in the eye. That's just not my bag. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Jay? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. <laughs> you know, so they, Michelle's right. Is that everybody's too needy? They got too needy. This needy. You know, really, really, we got too much work to do. Put your knees to the side for a minute. All right. If you had dinner last night, you got to move up your head. You don't need nothing anyway. All right. So let's just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's 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 difficult. But you know, I am enjoying us, and hopefully, we'll be able to do more. Right, Michelle? Yep. I'm looking forward. I really am. I'm really looking forward to making a change, at least that much of a change. You know, it, it'll be a good thing. Are you with us, Randy? You hungry, girl? You tired? I'm tired, but I'm here. I'm just listening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, did you want to? Did you have something to add to that question, or? Yes. Okay. What is your in? Well, I was gonna say. When I, and I got this, and that's why I love um, Black Women's Blueprint, even though I haven't been able to be there, be there. But um, my, my inborn knowledge of how to live life differently as a new 22-year-old. It's just to speak. And I don't know. I know I've mentioned that in this, in this form before. I really, really, really believe in truth-telling. And... Um, yeah. Opening up your mouth, and I think that's been the that's one of the best ways to get rid of shame. Um, one of the best ways to um, admit a problem. You gotta you gotta open up and and say something. So I think that if people really start t telling one another, like Michelle said, black people are hurting. If black people actually said, "I am hurting," you know, instead of keep it in the house, what stays in the house goes on in the house. You know, all, like all that that type of stuff and. Or, you know, feeling like you got to be strong, like black women tend to do, and men can't cry, black men can't cry. If we really honestly say, I am so sad, you know, and I am mm -hmm. unhappy, and I am hurting, I think that would just, that would just, that would change so much. But a lot of people are afraid to do it, and growth is not easy. Growth is lonely, because everybody's not going to want to do it, and everybody don't grow at the same time. And so people tend to lose people when they start growing, and nobody wants to lose anybody. And, um... People don't know that when you come out of that growth, you meet other people, and but it's a it's a painful process sometimes, and everybody don't want to be in pain if you are already hurting. So I understand, but I still I still believe that that speaking is a um, has been something that I've just learned that that has helped me live differently. Mhm, mm mhm, mm absolutely. That's excellent. It's okay to lose people, Randy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I, I call it cleaning out my closet. It's okay. And they're okay, too. Not saying they're not. Right. You know, but their useful life and your life is up. That's how I see it. You know, <laughs> sometimes it's just time. You know, really, it's, you can't nurture and try to analyze everyone. Right. Sometimes people just grow and we go this way and they go that way. They're still okay. Everybody's okay. You know, but it's just time for you to move on. Yeah, you know, so I I do believe that you know um I usually do that yearly. I make a list, and I know it sounds sad, but I do it every year. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no time to clean out. <laughs> you know, me, Michelle, You're organized. I'll be talking to talk about Michelle. I clean up the house every year. I go to the list of people, and Some I people have out. a Christmas list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, people make you know they go to the New Year's resolutions. I go through a list of the New Year's of people. You know, <laughs> do you elevate me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you make me feel good? Do I get warm and fuzzy feelings when I see your face, hear your voice, or whatever the case may be? Do you bring anything in? Already? Have I learned anything from you? That's all. <laughs> So by the time I get done, Randy, I start with 30 people. Girl, I got a half a man on there. That's why I'm saying. <laughs> I got a half a person left. Year, never failed, girl. The pretty some years I've been here, I ain't got nothing to ask to a whole person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
So and, and I always got my 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 one friend over here. And she's on the list. She is over there. Because that you know, I know I got her over here. That's why I go down that list. I said, okay, have a person left left. Okay, Michelle, you in girl. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's okay, Randy, to, to sometimes uh, clean out your closet. You need mm -hmm. to evaluate that to me on a regular basis. I do it once a year, but you 22, you need to do it every three months at least. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> and people do it on their own. I do. I really do. <laughs> oh, you've got some drop-offs, but you've got some you may have to, you know, give them an incentive to drop off. You know, you know generally, you know, but you got to give them an incentive to drop off. Because some people don't know when to drop off. You got to, you know, just give a gentle nudge, like it's time for you to go now. <laughs> but we got, that's why we got Miss T over here, because, come on, Miss T, Tommy said, now, Vanita. Okay. Now, now, thank thank you for your excellent advice. <laughs> you need to be counseling. <laughs> come on, T, tell me now, because you know, you are, you are state. I love Miss T. She keeps us like this, because, you know, we go crazy <laughs> And Miss G will just bring us right back down. <laughs> That's why I love you. I really do. I've grown so fond of you because you were just a lot of. Oh, thank you, Vanita. You brought color and laughter into my life here. <laughs> Absolutely. I love you too. <laughs> oh, isn't that so sweet? I just, I just love my book people. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, oh, I, my goodness. I my happy place. place. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> are, we, are, we about, are we about, you know, we get off in this whole thing. Did you learn something Maybe. like that? Do you have I something did. to talk to your friends? I did. I